So let us complete the edit functionality. So on click of this, we have to show a model pop-up with the existing details. And uh, if you want, we can change the values, right? Update the values, okay? So let's start directly by writing the services. So let's go to the department service and write update department department we are expecting department okay and we'll say return this dot http dot put method so we're passing this dot api url plus slash department and we will pass the object so internally the api method will take that object and update the you know department id based on department name based on the id so we'll accept the department it's going to update department name based on department id okay <clears throat> so now uh, let's go back to the so let's close everything Let's open uh, add employee component and edit employee component. Okay, so basically everything remains the same between these two except the fact that we have additional uh, uh, what we call additional ID, right? Department ID. Apart from the department name, we also have department ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the entire thing and paste it in the <coughs> edit department component as well. And uh, we're going to make some changes. We'll say this as margin. We'll keep it as three all over, all, all over. And uh, let's also make it as three. also let's keep margin as 3 for all the controls so what we have to do is we have to have another uh, field right form field for id but it is it should not be editable but it should not it should be uh, you you should be able to display it right so we're gonna copy this entire thing and make a copy of it right so we'll copy this and paste it and also some changes that we want to make is it is not add new it is now edit department right so edit department and also the please enter department name and also this is update <coughs> okay <coughs> the button name is uh, update department <coughs> now instead of department name i have department id the same here let's copy this and here also same here also it is department id <clears throat> okay and then what is pending is uh, yeah read only so instead of this required and uh, minimum value it should be only read only right so we're gonna do that by writing read only equal to read only <clears throat> okay now let's go back to the edit department component dot ts uh, let's close everything and open add department component dot ts and edit department component dot ts so here also most of the things remain the same with some slight changes so let's copy the entire uh, you know imports and paste it for the edit M department component as well and also the constructor okay the mat, mat snack bar as well sorry the mat snack bar as well <coughs> and uh, the constructor here also it remains the same we are going to make use of department service here as well so we will copy the entire contents of the constructor here the dialog box 
instead of this add department it is now edit department component okay that is the dialog box we don't have to reset the form uh, let's copy the close one here let's uh, complete the on submit later for now let's have the close button okay and then finally we have to show this component on click of uh, edit right so let's go back to show department dot ts so we have on edit doing console dot log instead of this we have to show the uh, module right the, the component as a model pop-up I mean the model window okay so we'll write this dot service so we have to initialize the form data right the form data is available in service so this dot service dot form data will be equal to the department so we have initialized so when we want to call I mean uh, see here when we are trying to display we are getting it from service dot form data dot department ID so if the service dot form data has value it will be displayed here okay so that's the point here so here we are going to make this so service dot form data equal to the department so when that component loads automatically the values will be populated okay <clears throat> now let's do one thing let's copy the same thing from uh, edit sorry from we were adding yeah from here on add we are also displaying right so the same thing that we're going to do is yeah the only difference is we are setting the form data here. there it was empty so we are not setting anything now since we have we want to edit it we are setting the form data and then opening up the um, component but in this case what should be the component that we have to open is edit department component click on enter and you can see that the edit department component has been imported okay so that is it so let's see if the component gets opened with default values so let's click on department and let's click on this icon and see that we have some issue so the problem is that the entry component was not found so we have forgotten one thing so we have to copy this edit department component go back to the app module dot ts and inside the entry components make an entry for edit department component as well now probably the issue should get resolved so let's close this and click on departments click click on edit and you can see the <coughs> values are now populated now what is pending is to when we make changes and click on update the up the new value has to go to the database and it has to get updated so that thing we have to write in this on submit method so we have let's go back to the update department.ts edit department component.ts and let's implement the on submit method so what happens on submit so on submit you can see the function is already written here we're calling this function we just have to implement this i'm copying the function name and uh, writing here on submit we have to we are re receiving the form right we are seeing the form this is of the form ng form so what we are doing is we're going to call the service this dot service dot update department we have to far pass the form dot value and then we're going to subscribe and wait until the response is received so once the response is received what we're going to do is we're going to say this dot snack we will open the snack bar and display the message dot open and the message is response dot to string and then no action to be taken and then some of the options such as the duration should be set to probably five seconds
five seconds and finally the vertical position should be on the top fine in G form so that's it I hope this works without any problems so let's see let's click on one of these things I'll click on dev one two three four so I'll write one two three four five six seven eight so dev one two three four five six seven eight. I'll click on update and you can see the message that update is indeed successful so let's go back to the screen and verify that and we can see that the update is now successful